Excellent. So a hundred thousand welcomes to the Braemar gathering. Darling, you've got to keep So welcome back to the channel and to a super sunny Braemar. Look, he's alive! Aye, only just. <laughs> Yeah, he's not feeling too well, so we didn't think that we were going to be coming. But let's go and see what the Braemar Highland Games is all about. If you find some, will be alright. <laughs> maybe we'll see my old friend, Charlie Boy. Braemar Caravan Park was booked up all the way back in January, so we booked the motorhome into the event field next to Braemar Castle. There were toilets, chemical disposal points and water, and it was only 10 minutes walk from the Princess Royal and Duke of Fife Memorial Park. Cheers! Cheers! I my teeth today. Yeah, something a bit different about you. <laughs> I've got to stop smiling, the sun's shit. <laughs> I'm dazzling everybody. <laughs> We're getting some music too. We woke up to a beautiful morning and set off early for the start of the Braemar gathering. There was a great buzz about the town. We had tickets for the uncovered grandstand, so excitedly made our way into the sold out event. Picking up a programme, we headed for the souvenir van. I just need an app for later on, I think. I forgot mine, I've got one too, and I forgot it. Soaking up the electric atmosphere, we headed to our seats. Oh look, there's all our French friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The view from Stand B was fantastic and we could see right into the royal box. There was so much going on you didn't know where to watch first. Yes, Robert Phillips in there from Cagnes Bay. Now everyone. We write today here into this famous arena who we will be welcoming no fewer than 10 white bands. This night, everyone, into the arena, let's give them a big, big welcome to their Perth and District. Playing local, 16 years and over, Highland dancing throughout the day. Looking great at this point in the day. The first two teams to pull this morning. We've got seven RLC, that's Royal Logistics Corps, and they are in the black with red socks, everyone. And they're going to be pulling 16 Regiment RA, that's 16 Regiment Royal Artillery, and they're in green with blue shorts. So 
also some results from the heavies this morning. This is the the Campion Qualifier, 16 pound hour, and first saw it as local, under nine years. The Decker Bank, so we're calling competitors in for the sack race. Event number 15, competitors for the sack race, under 10, local handicap, in you come. Uh, nice welcoming the next of our pipe bands, everyone. This is the crowd right up the center of arena. Come on, everyone. Give them a wee bit of encouragement. Oh, come on. We want to see all the world. The sun was beating down on us in the stand, so we went for a walk around the rest of the ground, picking up some refreshments from the Fife Arms Bothy on our way. You go, enjoy. Thank you very much. Pims. Toast your coffee. <laughs> we quite enjoyed the view from the general admission area. On this pool in the tug of war then, this is the first end. A good strong hold for a start. They're doing well here. It's going back to Los Equatrian Civil Regiment this time. A smashing day. It was a fabulous crowd and everyone cheered all the competitors on. We bumped into our old friends Jerry and Christine. Ching ching, buddy. Ching ching. Sure go. <laughs> At precisely 3 pm, the king and queen arrived. The games continued with the king and queen looking on from the royal box, including the very famous tossing the caber. The K 
king then presented some awards. At four o'clock, it was time for the king and the queen to leave. We had the best day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come back next time for a new adventure. Mm -hmm.